This is a story with many facets. T minus five, four, three, two, one. This is the Jody and Scott Show. Oh yes, this is the Jody and Scott Show. Welcome, welcome. How's it? How's it going? What's happening, Scott? How are you? Hey, welcome to everybody. This yep. uh, this is exciting here on this beautiful night. Um, I'm looking at the list, dude, and I'm going to say, let's just not do it tonight, because I feel like there's it's too not much worth, good not stuff. not worth doing? Is that what it is? It's uh, oh, oh like, it's too much wanna, good stuff. Yeah, I don't want to win any more awards. I'm sick of getting <laughs> yeah. awards for this show. It's just annoying. It's you know what I mean? I, I don't much. have any room for these things in my house. By the way, uh, let's make sure, if you're checking out the show for the first time, or maybe the second or third time, if you haven't subscribed in iTunes yet, or I guess it's now, we're not supposed to call it iTunes anymore, Scott. We're supposed what to is call it, now? it It's Apple Podcasts. That's the new... That's Apple the new bottom podcast. So, yeah, so if you're subscribed, so make sure Dude, you're subscribed you in Apple Podcasts. That, that could get us another award. That man. could. It'd be so good. The Apple, what'd you say? Apple what? Apple bottom podcast. <laughs> we might need to work know, on that. Technology yeah, we might need to work. We might need to work on that one a little bit. I think. Also, maybe. um, please, please, uh, follow us on Twitter. We got a lot going on there. We got a. A bunch of people and the twits and the everything's going on on the Twitter. So uh, follow us, Jody and Scott Show. Just uh, Google that. It'll show up our Twitter and, you know, follow the thing, all right? Yeah, so um, so we're supposed to be joined this evening. We had a couple of interesting guests. One, Two huge um, guests, bro. You, this is big. The first one you unearthed is is pretty interesting because I think it's like it's 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 a it's a study in sort of the 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 flash in the pan social media phenomenon, flash. right? This is like a big phenomenon, right? Like I mean, this was I think this thing blew up. What was it like uh, about a month ago? Probably maybe about three month, weeks ago, Joey. yeah, somewhere Come around now, somewhere around a month big. ago. And it was and it was uh, and it was huge for like twenty four hours, and then it was over. It was like forty seven, bro. Come on, okay. And, and but it's but I think it's Real. interesting, and I and I'm curious to hear from the inventors. Um, you know what sort of that super fast exposure does because you know, so these guys invented the the, the 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 romper for boys right the yeah. the, oh, the for one men, the one Jody. not for boys for men they're like oh, it's like boys <clears throat> men. this is the onesie um with it's like a, it's like shorts attached to the shirt right that's what this is the the shorts yeah, and shirt are one thing, but i want to know like the big questions like how do you take a dump in this thing the raw it's this big i mean come on i want to know it's stylish i mean i want to go out on a sunday fun day when get my, blackout drunk wearing one of these things when my know? five when my five month old wears a romper which is a regular thing for him um they the sure. the, the bottom uh you know, it's just, it just it's just like a line of buttons Bottoms out right no it's like a line of buttons that go along the inside like the inseam okay so like so, right. so if you got to change a diaper you just rip those buttons open pull it up and, and you know, change the diaper, and then so I wonder if these romp hymns have that because that would actually be pretty great to. You know, it, these blackout drinkers are going to want to go to the bathroom midway through their blackout. They're well, going to need to find a way to do that. Right? Well, yeah, because it's simple, even easier. Simple. Well, yeah, I mean, it's easier than than unbuckling pants. You could just like you know sure, rip that thing open and tough. pull it up. And then work also, yeah. This is this is a bigger one, I think, Jody, because people want to know about this kind of crap. Because I'm I'm I clearly need to know about it because I mean I've I'm I'm so deep you in the freak hole with the toy aisle well, now. I mean, here's the thing. Great. Here's the thing. I'm so deep in the hole with the with the with the baby and the kid, money and the, wise, and the, yeah, and the family and the just like go. just like I'm all this, anymore. Just, yeah, 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 just all this stuff, right? That I have no idea. What this Ken doll thing is like? What? Who is this? And what's going on with a Ken doll, Scott? There are new Ken doll models out there, Jody. And the reason I want people to know oh, about no, no, this no. Is all right. So when you say Ken doll model, wait, are we talking about new models of Ken dolls like that you can toys. buy at the toy store, or or men that dress like Ken dolls, or no, what are we I talking? I want to know about? what these millennial kids are wanting out of a man. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking like there's a there's a Ken with a man bun now. Okay. So we're oh, find so out they've what updated. The new generation is looking for oh, in a okay. man. So right. they've what so the they, Ken dolls are. So they've Still updated. No penis, so they've updated the Ken dolls to be more millennial. I guess I, uh, they wouldn't be, no, they wouldn't be millennial friendly, right? No. Because these would be like chi- these yeah. are like because these are children. What's that this, generation. This is, what are they called? What are the kids now? Like my, I don't think they come up with a name to like their adults. You know, oh, okay. Because this millennial thing started like what three years ago? Or I something? guess so. It just, it just happened. Yeah. So what it is is millennials probably making the Ken dolls in their own image right. now. Okay. They're trying to forecast what the hot man's going to be for these. 
these kids. All right. So, 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 who are we talking to? Like, like, like somebody who actually invented, like, designs uh, these Stan things, or what? He What's... is actually a. Uh, he has a doll connoisseur. He um, fancies himself a doll connoisseur, which is oh, of that sounds out there. really so it was hard to find. I had to dig him up. Sounds really creepy. <laughs> so he'll give it the, the update <laughs> on the new Ken dolls. That's something for you to get really horny about. Jimmy. Yeah, come on now. There's nothing. There's nothing more normal than a than a than a grown male doll yes. connoisseur. Actually, we, I, 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 one of our best like, friends. His world, well, actually, one of, our, one of our best best friends, Hummel, is basically a, a male doll connoisseur. Actually, yeah, he it? also has breasts, so you nailed that the first time. All right, now Jody, this is actually sad news for me. Oh. Um, uh, but a, a couple of months ago, I told you about my beloved fidget spinner. Now, we had so many good times together. I take him to the park. Uh, his name was Felix. I take him to the Seven Eleven. Um, I would go DJ downtown. I would use him as a it was a fun side what'd say, gig. What'd you say the the, the the nickname for the fidget spinner was? Felix. Felix. Felix okay. the fidget Felix spinner. Felix the fidget spinner. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And he was stolen, Jody. By God. I mean, you. Have, <laughs> I mean, you don't. Okay. Stole. Say like your kid gets kidnapped or something. Stole. I don't have kids. This was like my kid. Okay. okay. So right. Give so you're me like, back my fidget so you're spinner. Likening, you know, so you're like. So you're like. So what you're saying. So what you're saying is you're likening the 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 moment that, the moment that you uh, realized that your fidget spinner was gone. Stolen. You're saying that you in that moment felt the same way as if oh. I was at uh, Disney World and looked up and okay. my five year old had disappeared and I can't well, find him. Is that what you're saying? That's how you. That's how you felt <laughs> no, I mean, in that man. moment. I mean, let's not get that extreme. But I'm just saying, I'm a very upset, depressed <laughs> okay. man. Man, oh, okay. man. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I'd like right. to. I just. I know a lot of people listen to this show. I'd like to say, if you're out there, I got a little money. This way, I got a lot, but I'll give it all for you, just to give me my Felix what, back. What? Uh, clean. Make sure he's clean. Don't hurt him. Can you describe it? Like, what color was? What, what did it's it look blue. like? Was there anything like special about it? Was it a it's special baby one? blue, just like my baby son Felix? I saw one. And I saw one I had yesterday. A couple rhinestones I super glued on there. And okay. Nothing special. Kid down here. Yeah. I saw one uh, at a restaurant. He had one that, that as it spun, it had like uh, LED lights on it that like made a message. Like you could like you like spin it and like as it spun it. Like, like displayed like a scrolling message across. It's, man, this shit's crazy. Well, you're talking about all these fidget, fidget spinners. It's crazy. You know, I got it right in my face. You know what I mean? We need, when we I got a lost a, fidget spinner out there. We need to find a rub fidget, all these new fidgets. I mean, fidget oh, spinner. Oh, by the way, speaking of fidget spinner. Yeah. Um, fidger, <laughs> fidget spinner mm-hmm, porn mm-hmm. is huge right now, Joey. <laughs> this is something. How does that work? Uh, is that like a, 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 oh, oh, okay. So you I just actually put the, jerked the, to it last night. I do some research for the show. <sighs> It was tough. Uh, it took me a while, about 25 minutes to get one out. But here's what it is, okay? You get the fidgeter out. You get the girl. And you kind of smack it on her butt a little bit to get her warmed up. This and is not a thing. move on to it. No. Dude, don't there's question no. my research. I'm a professional. <laughs> there's no. Okay? Like, there's no. It's fidget there's spinner no, porn. Although, I wouldn't. Hold on a second. There's got Google you, it. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you. I I'm, do a lot of research I'm, for this I'm, show. I'm Unlike actually doing you. I'm, 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 you're Googling hold on, I'm, uh, I'm, wigs fidget, or something. Fidget spinner know. porn. Hold on. Let's uh, see. Spinner let's see what porn is what I Google. Uh, there it is. Fidget spinner porn videos on Pornhub. Oh, oh jeez. Look at there. So they're everywhere. Oh, yeah. God. Fidget hot. spinner masturbation makes blonde ADHD chick get off. Hot slut right. with ADHD gets off to fidget spinner. fidgets. Original fidget spinner. but white one. Oh, here's a Fidget spinner butt plug. Fidget spinner up my husband's That's ass. That's the one I finished too. Yeah. Okay, uh, brace faced spinner Vibrator, gets fucked no on Father's Day. That, that's a good one. Yeah, that's like a very nice <laughs> oh present God, for a this father. Is real. <laughs> Father's Day. Did you have a good one? What'd I you did. Get? I you know I you know what I did. I, 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 got, I got to sleep in until eight a.m. Uh, Dude, that's like a wild the, sleeping. Yeah. The, the, then I went like to uh, then I went to breakfast with my father in law, and where'd then, you go? Cracker Barrel. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. and then, rocking uh, chair checkers, big ones. And then after that, uh, came home, and my wife took a three hour nap. <laughs> Oh, she took a nap. She's supposed to stay up for the entire uh, Father's no, I Day. Thought so sick, I, thought, I thought so, too. I thought that was the deal, right? I was like, it's Father's it's Day. It's on watch all 24 hours. Right. I'm the one that gets to take the three-hour nap on Father's Day, but it wasn't me. It was my wife. She was like, she dipped out, took a nap on Father's Day. So that Day. was it. She cut it short. That's <laughs> right. I got cut off at about 2 p.m. It was like, Father's Day is That's over. That's why it's you nice. You got to sleep you know, until 8 a.m. Not being a father, I can finish my uh, masturbation to uh, fidget porn. Yeah, you know it's a mean? whole. I don't have to cut it short. Yeah. I can Finish the whole sweet release. Now we have one more funeral. <laughs> oh God! There's another. Jeez, the Scott. The fidget spinner. Now we got 
cool words. Now, these are all words that you use. Uh, they're being checked off the list by millennials. And what I know word, that. All right, so what, words, that so world. what words are the millennials saying that... We, right that in the we, garbage All right, so, so these are the words that you're saying that me as an old uh, whatever Balding, I am... hairy-footed... Generation Y guy. Large nippled. So if I, I actually have very small nipples. Yeah, but they're you know, small. They're petite. Them, yeah, but you got to pinch them to get them smaller. They're I've seen you petite. do that in the pool. Yeah, it's a, it's a move you make before you take your so, shirt off. You pinch your nipples so, to small them up. So what the hell are we talking about? We're talking about the cool words that you use every day, Jody. That so are no if I, as cool. an old guy, <laughs> if yes. I, as an old guy, these are the words that I, if I used them, a millennial would look at me and like be like, wow, it's you're, a, you're a real square, yes. right? I, okay. Say goodbye to totally. That's like, that's like the first word in your vocabulary, totally. That's totally, a, yeah, that's a big one. Actually, I do use I that word. That's, that is yeah, a word I, I use. Know. You just realized it. Like, I did. Ding! Yeah. 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 So we'll say goodbye to it, Jody. You okay. can't be hanging out with me drinking beers and smoking uh, pot. Man. Saying, totally. That's oh, okay. That's Sweet. Bad. That's like your second word. In your I use language. that word a lot. Yep. Yeah, I call. I do I do say sweet. Oh, yeah, totally sweet, man. We'll do that. I smoke that bomb. Sometimes. Cool. Uh, the word cool is no longer cool. Okay? Really? <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one to get around. That's a tough one to get around. Wow. I got a weird private number coming in right now. Let's take it. All right. What, what are you taking? This is uh, Scott from the Jody and Scott show, and they just hung up. So I'm yeah. going to guarantee it's that. Uh, so the, why aren't they? The uh, romper. Did you did you guy. not give the romper guys the the number to the studio, or, well, or did you give them the wrong well, phone number again? My number for some reason, which I don't understand that. So That's um, why we have producers to do this show. So I so I saw the story today. Uh, uh, you, you had it on your list too, because I thought this was interesting. Because I think there's a lot. There was always a lot of um, a question about whether or not you're supposed to tip an Uber driver, right? That was always... Oh, you ripped it right off my list. I yeah. was going to ask you about well, that. I've got a lot of troubles with Ubers. I use them every day because well, I like to get well, blacked I've, out drunk. I've never, I've never tipped Uber drivers, right? Because What I've, the hell, Joey? Well, that, dude, all right. First this of all, is, first of all, this is I'm a twisted reveal. Bro. Here's the thing. First of all, like I'm a generous tipper, right? Like I'm like a 20% plus at restaurants. I tip people that deliver stuff to my house. Like I am a like I like I I am tip a the world away usually. I yeah, I I tip. But you're not going to tip a guy but, that shows up in his own car and drives you to a random I spot. I always in thought money. I was always under the impression that it was like tipping the Publix guy that takes the groceries out to your car. Like you're not allowed to do. Like you're not supposed oh, to. You, it's not part of the deal. Like I thought that, like if you're allowed to, if you're too, allowed you're to tip to. the Uber driver, why isn't there an option in the app to add two dollars for the ride? Like who carries cash anyway? Do you carry cash around, Scott? No, you don't carry cash around. I don't know anybody that carries cash around. Well, yeah. So, so well, the they, only reason I carry cash so, is to tip my Uber so driver. If the, so if the, so if the, so if like, so, so anyway, like I, I never, I always thought that you just weren't supposed to tip them. I thought it was part of the deal. Uber required no. tip tipping and it turned out that there's people that have been like tipping uber drivers all over the place i had no idea now i feel like a real dick like i like now i know that every uber driver that i've ever ever driven has ever taken me somewhere hates my guts because i didn't tip it but i guess i just didn't know rating i bet you got a low as hell rating i have no idea i've never checked i don't use it enough to really have they might shut you down shut your whole account down that's what you do i I had a problem with that for a while is that why i get bad with me is that why i get bad (laughs) uber drivers like it seems like they mess they mess you up with the crappy car if you have a crappy score. It's sad. Is that really uh, what's going on? Because that's what happened to me when I was in... Welcome to the future, Jody. It's a millennial world we're all living in now. Well, I didn't know. So you're not a part of that. So anyway, I guess that that tipping is being added to the app, and now like it's like it's like uh, like tipping is now going to become the norm. For dry, for when you're riding on Uber, so so Couple there you box. Go. You don't have to get too horny. You just appreciate that a man Dude, just put you in his per- personal I, car. Bro. I I would always be completely happy, like 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 thrilled to tip the driver. I just always thought that you weren't supposed to. Like that's the thing. I, I had no idea. I didn't know. I didn't have know. Have you ever taken an Uber to a Chick-fil-A through the drive-thru? No. Drunk? Why? No. Have you done that? I haven't either. <laughs> no, no, but I, I'm thinking about it now. It sounds like a good idea. It does sound like um, a good time. No, you confirmed this, and I was uh, I was concerned about this the other day. I notice when I go through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru, we talk about Chick-fil-A a lot, that it's always a female that says, my pleasure no, it's at all the of end them. of the transaction. It's, all, it's not just the females. It's all of them. And I actually did a loop-de-loop to get a guy. Yeah. Okay? I did a loop-de-loop to yeah. get a guy, and he did not say my pleasure. It was just the girls that work at Chick-fil-A saying my pleasure. When you said thank you. You have to say thank you, and then they say my pleasure. You know, I, well, I kind of, you know, I said thank you, and the dude was like, 
You're welcome. He didn't say my pleasure. Mm. So my, my, I'm backing up my theory, Jody, and you have to videotape this for All me right. to believe it. Only the women and the girls no. at Chick-fil-A will say my pleasure. The, the dudes time, don't. No, the next right? time. If you're noticing that, you're a little berserk. No, All the right? next time, I'm doing it the next time. I'm, next time, I swear to God. I'm gonna. I'll, I, I'm telling videotape you. Videotape it. Prove it to me. I want a proof right. in the pudding. Well, Speaking of pudding, telling. Bill Cosby. Have you heard well, about on, this hold man? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The robber, guy, the robber guys are on the phone. Slow getting down, off. slow down, slow down, slow down. getting off. He probably got off too. Slow down, slow down. All right, so it's a so big show right now, bro. Big, big show right now. We were talking about the uh, the the romp the 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 rompers for men without Rump rompims, and, uh, and Scott Scott tracked down one of the uh, one of the inventors or one of the one of the guys that started founders, the company. Or Jody, the founders, Jody, right. Welcome to the Jody and Scott show. Who, who, I don't even know who we're speaking to. Like the screen says restricted. I don't have a name there. What's a, who, who are we talking to? <laughs> Called in from the old uh, Google Hangouts line. My phone's reception is not always great. This is uh, Daniel Webster Clark, one of the co-founders. Daniel Webster yeah! Clark, welcome uh, da of we uh, Daniel Webster I Clark. Like that name, there's so many names, so many words of uh, of romp him now. Um, so, so tell me something. Um, what, when you guys were were, were 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 cooking up this idea, but how how long was this sort of concept and the and the and the outfit itself and all that stuff? How how long was it around before it popped on social media and like went crazy for 48 hours? What was like like how long had the, had the romp him been in existence before that happened? Yeah, so we've been working on the project for about six months, basically. Okay. It took us like, probably two to three months really to even get the first one made. And then we've been wearing them out public to events, kind of all over the place, taking videos, taking pictures, having people run us and ask us, you know, what, what the heck we're wearing. Probably since about mid-April. Um, okay. so we had it out in about for a month and decided we've got enough stuff. We've got a cool video. Let's throw it on Kickstarter and see uh, if video. people love it or hate it. Right. Not a lot of people, but a lot of people love it too. So uh, that was fun to see. Now, when you when, when you guys were was was the idea when you invented the romp him to garner like attention, like like, like online, like obviously, like it's it's designed it to sure garner hell attention did it, when Joey. you wear. It. I mean, this thing right? blew up. Like obviously, it's designed to garner attention wherever you are, right? Like if you're a man wearing a romper and you're in the middle of a mall, get people, laid. For you know, people are going to notice you. But but was Easily. but but were you guys thinking Slide let's come over. up like let's come up with something that's going to light Instagram on fire, right? Is that was that the idea? Was that the impetus that started this, or was the did the inspiration come from somewhere else? Impetus. Yeah. So the inspiration was just to to make one that we thought was kind of stylish and fun and, and comfortable. I myself am a uh, big like sweatpants, sweatshorts guy. Uh, and so I, like I thought this would be like another you, option. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and kind of something that, you know, I could wear out. And so we said to ourselves, look, the best way to get kind of this in front of as many people as possible is to make something that's kind of fun and catchy and get people talking. So okay. let's go ahead and make a video. Let's uh, make our post be something that people are going to react to. And, you know, people love it or hate it, but let's get people talking about it. If you have to poop, now if you have to poop. Oh, Jesus, Jody, let me <laughs> ask a damn question. I booked him. Jody's just asking all my questions, all right? Now listen. The, I, slow, but, slow your roll. I, no, right? but you, Scott, you but you brought it up before we had him on the before we had Daniel on the phone. It's all I did. How do you take a big dump in this it's, thing? It's, and all I've, it's, it's all yeah, it's all I've been able to think about since you asked that question to me. And I, I just need to get it out of my mind so we can move Jody's on to a something poop else. Connoisseur. He's very So Daniel, if you have to poop, what do you do? I see, I see. Yeah, it's, it's it's an important question. Uh, you know, I'd say it's one that you, you're going to have to plan your day around it. You know, this is, oh, this wow. is not an outfit for, uh, for emergencies. Okay. You know, uh, it's, All right. it's definitely easy it's enough to poop. get out of. You know, zipper fly from number one. Uh, the the R and D department's working on what we can do from a number two standpoint. Well, let me we'll, tell you, uh, I, no, I'll tell you. No, 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 Daniel, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Like I have a five month old, and he wears rompers. Jody smokes a lot of weed. Okay. He comes up with this stuff. No, 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 no. Uh, and he wears <laughs> rompers. Okay, and it's and, and what he what they do is along the inseam on the bottom are buttons. Okay, so you like like button up All the right. inseam, Artist right? Button to button. And, then, and then you just rip it open, and then you just pull it up, and you can do whatever you have to do, right? And then you just button it back up along the inseam pop. on the bottom. So there you go. Now you know how to fix that fix that problem, Dana. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Okay, yeah. so you <clears throat> now you put this thing on GoFundMe, and this is when it really takes off. People are going berserk. I mean, it literally takes over the internet. For two days, yeah. are you guys freaking the fuck out? What what is going on? Can you beep that, Jody? What is going on in the little room where you guys are coming up with this thing where you see the money just coming in? I like, I think you made almost like what two million dollars on this thing. You sold I mean, two million dollars. Do you start drinking? Do you start doing blow? Like, what is this party like? That's what I want to know. 
Yeah. Not quite two million, unfortunately. Uh, not quite there, but but it was pretty nuts. We uh, it was funny. We were doing sort of a kickoff event. We're uh, we were all just graduated from uh, Northwestern and our MBA students there. So we're all hanging out at the uh, at the school there, doing sort of a one of those kickoff events. We got our little thermometer drawn on the board, you know, tracking our all progress right. and everything. And then all of a sudden, they'll just kind of walk into the room and they're like, "Hey, did you guys see that you're on Twitter?" And they'll start reading us, you know, one tweet the next tweet. And it got to the point where uh, classmates just stopped doing work and came in and started just reading us all the tweets of people, you know, making fun of us. Uh, just kind of a nonstop, you know, the, hey, you guys are lighting this up, but also here's the next five funny things people said about how this is a terrible idea and you guys have no fashion sense. Uh, and so we kind of got to the point where we're like, hey, guys, you can, like, be in the room and support us, but, like, maybe one positive thing every once in a while. Let us know one, <laughs> one thing some like, you're supposed to block. You're supposed to block out the negative. I mean, that's well, what Nickelback does. But here's the thing. Know? Like, I'm, but I'm, I'm sitting here thinking. I'm sitting here listening. To you talk about the romp, and you know, and, and, and look. Let's be, uh, we'll call a spade a spade. It's completely ridiculous, right? Like, the, but the, but the, but, but that's like, why it works. But that's Jody, why, right? Jesus. But that's why. But that's why it works. I'm sitting here thinking. I'm like, I'm like, Daniel here has has succeeded in a way that you and I certainly haven't, Scott. And other like, like, Hell no. like, like, you know, like it's like it's like Jesus Christ. Like they like they they took like this outfit that is that is something that 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 prior. They even need Shark Tank. Prior, prior, right? right, prior to that moment, an outfit that no that no man would ever wear, right? And then it, and then they pop it on social media, and now they've got this thing that bros can wear to brunch or to music festivals or whatever. And everyone's be like, hey, hey, yeah, there's the fun Drink guy, in, there's the yeah. fun guy in the romp him, and like it's like it's almost like an, it's almost like the like the the millennial floral shirt now. <laughs> Yeah, it's been nuts to see. I mean, we, we, so when we kicked this thing off, you know, we thought we were going to sell either 120 of them to our friends and our family who felt bad for us and said, we'll go ahead and buy some for the family reunion because it's yeah, where are we at right Let's now? Let's stop asking us for money. Yeah, how many have uh, you sold? Uh, right now, so we closed, yeah, Kickstarter closed at uh, 350000 roughly. Wow. wow. Um, so that was about 3000 plus. Tickets, and then we're still selling through the website, romping.com. You can get them there, and we've sold out. One of our new styles on that website as well. Wow! Um, so we've got our kind of blue and our white are still up for sale there. I mean, um, yeah, I, no, it's been it's been pretty nuts. Yeah, I mean that's insanely impressive, right? But, because like, because without you know obviously without yeah. that like like the the plan worked out perfectly, right? Like you come up with an with an item that's going to get everybody's attention, and look, it does, and you sell this ridiculous outfit. To, it's like in the now thousands two of things. people. It's incredible. Daniel, I got two things. Jody's think likes to think gutturally. I like to think positively. Okay? Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> now he t- he's thinking about taking a dump. I'm thinking about sexual sex. Yeah. Now, is there a, a pocket uh, for like something to come out of there? Are we talking about a you fly? Pull it to the side. Like a fly? Is there, is there a penis flop? A fly, yeah. Scott. They call that a fly. A flop. Yeah, yes, there's the, a fly. The zipper fly was actually uh, yeah. We got the zipper fly built in there. He said he, he explained oh, yeah. that earlier. Yeah, uh, features of our. <clears throat> he already, well, that's but that was my only you. question. Is there a little you. pocket? <laughs> oh yeah, I did remember that. Is there a little pocket for a fidget spinner? I'm thinking about you. <laughs> fidget you spinner line pocket. it in. You put a fidget spinner pocket in there. Yeah. And, I mean, I'll take this credit, but you can have the money for it. And you have a nice fidget spinner right in that <laughs> rope them. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm not against it. We got one of the one of our buddies on the team actually has the fidget spinner and, like, uses it for a concentration thing. So yeah. uh, it's funny. We're also like, is that – do people – people did get those. All right. They're real. Like, wow. So there, yeah, Joe, do you believe action. that? I, you yeah. know, yeah, like, I, like I'm just like I, 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 I'm, I'm starting to think that I, that I want to get one of these rompims just to, just to see if it's comfortable to lounge around in. You're closer you know? to wearing an adult <laughs> diaper, Joe. I, yeah. I, I, I am closer to the, I am closer. <laughs> to the adult diaper. <laughs> All right, I hey, what, people are uh, pleasantly. You know, have you? People have, are pleasantly surprised. They're skeptics at first. They throw it on, and it's, it's fun. I love it. Congratulations. I was going to say, like, you had it. You should. You should come up with one yeah. that's almost like, a, like a, like, like a, like a, like a snuggy romper hybrid, right, Scott? You know what I'm talking about? Like that, that like, super when soft. You take a nap, right? Like that super soft snuggy material. Maybe it's, maybe it's a romper with like a snuggy cape. Right? Like something like all that. Right, Jody, you're ruining you know? their awesome idea. Don't listen to him. He's high, all right? He smokes a lot of that uh, hemp. Daniel, Maybe thank you, you very much. Hemp. Daniel is one of the founders uh, of uh, of Rompim. You, They've still got some available if you want to buy them, uh, apparently. Please and, do uh, a plug uh, where they can find you guys and buy a romp or b- romp him before it sells out, man. Yeah, absolutely. Rompim.com. There it you is. You want to look out there. It's the best place to find our new file. Only place to get one of the originals that was part of that Kickstarter that, uh, that this Right on. Daniel, thank you very much. We appreciate you uh, spending right some time now, with us. Baby. There it is. Let's Daniel. Daniel from, Daniel from Rompin. Thanks for your time, man.
Yeah, have a good one. Later on. So what do you say? So he said they sold like 3,000 of those things. So that's actually pretty impressive, right? Dude, like, 3,000, how much are they? I didn't even look. No, like, I'm 20, sure they're probably, well, they got no, they got to be more than that. They're probably like 30 or 40. But he said, he said it, it was, he said something like, like they, they sold like something like $300,000 worth or something. I don't know. But, but that's I gotta amazing, tell you, dude. It is amazing. <laughs> now, Jody, you uh, said you're giving up cereal. You want to uh, uh, take this whole uh, healthy lifestyle? Well, I, no, I'm not. I don't want to. I have on. no interest in actually doing it. That's the thing. Like my wife is forcing me to, and you know. Okay, so that's why it's Jody's big dilemma time. Oh, okay. So give right. me my uh, Jody. Uh, I don't have it. Music. There's no mu- There's no music for that. There's no music. Where's my? I told you that music. things are a little weird in the studio right now. Okay, and I don't have Regis music. Settle Thank down you. and just give me the freaking my favorite thing. song. Yeah, is that millionaire music yeah, we don't have don't now. Have if you didn't know, Amazon just bought Whole Foods. Yeah, I knew that. Yep. For thirteen billion freaking dollars, mm. Jody. Since you're so healthy and above me and whatever. Yeah, I'm not healthy though. Oh, I got a little music going right now. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> okay, that's my uh, fidget spinner porn music. Hold mm-hmm. on, I'm trying to shut that off. Yeah. You got a little fidget porn going on. You done uh, over there? Okay. Well, not done. It'll be later tonight, Jody. Don't get too excited. All right. Uh, name three items. By the way, that's a big move. Amazon. Yeah. $13 billion. Yeah. They're jumping in on this. Name three items you can get at Whole Foods you can't get anywhere else, you healthy freak. Let's hear what you got. I don't, Jody's big I don't, I don't ever get any of Whole Foods. I don't like Whole Foods. I, like, I don't think it's a particularly good well, yeah, If you're going to get healthy, like, Jody, that's the only place healthy people go. They don't go to Publix. It's not healthy. Okay, Whole Foods is the only healthy place. You get a lot of kale there. You get like fair trade coffee at Whole Foods, right? I don't think you can get that. that? You, I don't think you can get that at Publix. Uh, and milk. Uh, what else can you get at Whole? I don't know, Scott. High is it, end ice cream. I don't know. Do, do, high end. Oh, that's what you're saying. So I, if I just add the word high end to it, that's that's what you're go. That's what you're looking for. Well, I don't like, know every item I in get, the store, Jody. I'm not trying to be healthy like you. I'm not above everybody else. You're talking you know about these Kin dolls uh, earlier. Uh, the the the. I guess who makes these things? Mattel, Hasbro, Mattel. Is that who makes Mattel, Barbie? Jody? Come uh, on, Mattel. You about your dolls. You have kids. They've been uh, so. So I guess they're updating the Kin dolls, which is a, a very exciting time for Scott. It's about apparently, time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> really exciting. So, uh, so Scott found a, a male doll collector uh, that he wanted oh, yeah, to talk to dude. about this. A uh, male doll collector. What was Hello? That? Uh, hi. Hi. Stan Hello. Color Might? Color Might? Stan. Stan. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Stan. Hey. Stan Color Might. Hello. Hello, Where's Stan. Stan Color Might. Okay. Welcome to the Jody and Scott Show. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, I have to be honest. I don't know a whole lot about this story. Scott's sort of been trying to fill me in as the evening's gone on. I guess there is a lot going on in the Barbie and Ken world. Ken is we really want to be on top of this Barbie news. Big makeover. And so, uh, so yeah, I wanted to bring you in as an expert, I guess. Very, I very exciting news. And for, uh, for doll enthusiasts, like myself, it is an incredible day. Uh, today it was Let's announced celebrate. by Mattel. Uh-huh. Today it was announced by Mattel that there will be 15 new uh, styles of the oh. Ken doll. Oh, that's very... The whole gang, so, so Jody. going to be a diverse group of Ken dolls now, I mean, right? It's going to be diverse. No, it, is, it, is no, Trump might not allow that. Uh, yeah. Last year, um, the Barbie had expanded. Uh, she had also gone into different sizes, different looks, and now the same thing is being done with Ken. No longer we just have the basic Ken, the basic Ken doll, in quotes, air quotes, have you. <laughs> See, um, he does doll we'll comedy, Jody. Have, you don't like, get that like us. Yeah, I like that, yeah. We will now have, um, like, a, a Ken with a dad bod. Oh, okay. A, uh, oh, Jody, you can relate to that. Ken. I could relate to um, that. Yeah, nice. if, if you're a dad, Balding yes, I'm one? sure you could. You know, a little bit of um, I, we, we, from what I understand, it, we no bald, no Ken. thinning hair, yes. Ken. Uh, thinning hair, like yeah, not just a like, fully bald, just kind just of holding kind on of to like, a last maybe, breath. Yeah, you know what I mean? A little, a little, but uh, more when, along when it comes to hairstyles, we're looking more uh, stylish trends yeah. like the man bun. We oh have yeah, oh, the man yeah. Bun. stylish anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <sighs> yeah. What about hairy feet, Ken? Really I mean, exciting. Jody's kind of looking for that. Yeah, well, okay, here's... No, 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 no,
probably about 392 altogether. That's uh, a lot. That's a lot of dolls. Years, I mean, it could be weird. Dolls. Are they all male dolls or are they mixed male, female? No, no, no. Mixed male and female. Okay. Uh, lots of Barbies. I, I have one of the original Betsy Wexy. And that little girl, oh, she will a- wet her pants, and then you get to change them. It's so much fun. Oh, you see? So okay, yeah. that was my next question. So, do you, like, as a collector, because I know a lot of people collect things just for the sake of collecting them. They put them on a shelf, keep them in a box, never touch them. Fidget you know, whatever. I need to get a new one. Mine was uh-huh. stolen. You, uh-huh. you, as a male doll enthusiast, do you, is, is that like, is, is your collection, is it, is it like a museum, or are you more somebody that likes to interact with and play? In box, out of box. Right. Do you, play, do you play with your toy dolls, or do you? You just look at them. Yes, I have a doll room. I have a doll room <laughs> where I have them all set up, and oh. I go in and play with them whenever I want to. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely uh, mental image that I'm having right now. now How listen. old are you? <laughs> hey, I didn't ask for any personal 49. information. From 49, 49, 49, right. That's okay. a very young yeah. soul right there. Now listen, uh-huh. as a young man growing up, this is the first time I actually flirted with women. They were girls at the time. Mm-hmm. I would play Barbies with them. Now, this got me into the inner circle, right. and I would be the kid. I would even be the other girl. It, whatever. I played Barbies with girls to start my oh, you know, kind of flirting career. <laughs> and this is how it, Stan and I were actually oh, on a You're uh, a gay guy? Yes, 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 he is. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not gay. A lot of people do believe that, but I'm not. But this is the way I started flirting with women, playing Barbies at a young age. Now, uh, Jody would say he didn't do that, but Jody, answer the question. Did you ever play Barbies with your young friends? You don't be, you know, intimidated by Stan Color might right now. There was a be truthful. Sing- there was a single time where when my sister was out um, doing something with one of her friends, me and another friend went into her room and took all of her dolls and arranged them in sort of a horror movie scene. Um, oh, yeah, you're just trying to make it cool. Hung them, you know hung I mean? them from the fan. We tied them to doctor, chairs. Like we, I did. Okay. we did all that stuff, and then we, like, left them there for her, and then she came back, and she found this gruesome scene of her dolls sort of all over the place, and she yeah, cried, and she, like, got really upset, and, you know, that was about the closest I've gotten Personally, I played doctor and uh, nurse, okay. which was a lot of fun. Now, uh, we're talking about transgender. This is big in the world right now. Are we there, talking uh, about transgender? Colorman. We are now, because okay. when are we going to see a transgender doll? doll? I yeah, mean, this is going to be big. It's going to be trans- controversial. I want to get on the uh, front lines of this thing. I mean, isn't he already trans? Like, he doesn't yeah. have a penis, right? Like, like Hey, he- don't talk about Ken's no. penis like that. That's but just that's a smaller just one. Like, right? he's not, not all of us are hung not, like a horse, he's, Jody. He's not, right? Wait, he's not anatomically correct, so isn't he already sort of a non-binary kind of a deal? Like, because I'm a non-binary. Watch right? your mouth. Because, I get offended. But I put that, it on like, my application like, the other day. I mean, is it like... No, it, it, no. In the, in the doll world, you're not going to have a penis. You're not going to have a vagina. But you would have a flat chest for the male and slightly rounded chest for the female. But no That's penis. Do your uh, dolls, dolls ever have sex with each other? So yeah, you ever act at, you yeah, had a couple stuff? glasses of wine. Yeah, when you're playing with the no. dolls, after you've, yeah, after you've had I a few glasses of two wine. Two bottles deep. Uh, kangaroo, right, the good you. stuff. What do you do with the dolls? No. Like, what do you like? Deep. What, all right, so what kind of, like, what kind of I talk play? To dolls. You talk to the party they end. They interact with each other. <laughs> okay. Like what? They like, interact with each other. Like how? But they just have conversations. How was your day? What do you want to do tonight? They go out on dates sometimes. Um, All sounds very I have innocent. experimented with. <laughs> I've experimented you work? with. Um, yeah, you get a job. Not you. I'm talking about the dolls. Do they ever go to work? Dates with not only. Would you please be quiet and just listen? Ken has not Sorry. only gone out on dates with Barbie, but he's also gone out on dates with GI Joe. Oh. So uh, we've by talked curious, about a lot she of She likes the rugged social, kind of individual. By, by curious Ken doll, right? Well, he's, oh, he's, he's kind of the he's working big. doll. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is so weird, Scott. I don't so like no sex um, in the dollhouse. So, is that what we're all right, talking about? So, so you, all right. So, so you like? Do you have a job? Yes, he does. I mean, we said no personal info. Color might. Do you have a job? Like, do you have like a day job? Are you like on SSI? It's my like, pleasure. Like, 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 like to, to me, like in my head, it's just like screaming, like SSI, <laughs> like you're on social security disability for some reason. Like, hey, what, man? Like, that what? Ain't right? People what? have to have fun with their life. Like, what? Like, what? Do you have a job? Like, or like, what's the deal? Like, how do you like pay your bills every month? How do you finance this doll I room? Do, I, I am assisted. I am assisted by the government. <laughs> okay. I did work the way only years, half. Though. Though. It's, I don't. I just had that feeling. Like I, I can't imagine that somebody with a job 
has a doll room and acts out the the, the things at, at 49 years old or whatever he said he was. That's all I'm saying. Are you digging the man bun on the Ken, by the way? That's a little I am, over. I like it. I like the you man are, bun. You like, well, just because you wish you could have hair. That's the mm-hmm. only reason. I'm doing do. wig man buns. Yeah, have you man, looked into that? It's on Amazon. I saw that. Man buns, not bad. Yeah. All right. Well, I tell you what. Thank you very much. Uh, he's a he's, you. he's a doll expert. His name is uh, Stan uh, Colormite. Well, uh, Colormite. 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 Yeah. Stan, we ought to have Colormite. you back. We, we ought to have you back some some uh, sometime. <clears throat> I'd like really? to go to your house about what? If I'm ever in town. More doll talk? Yeah, more doll talk. Like just really I'll go play just a really session. Get... But where do you live? Yeah, you maybe you. Yeah, you and Scott could I'll get take together. An Uber maybe over there, tip them because you can do that now. Could we do that? Get you guys together in a room and you guys could could uh, act out like a like a like a, a like a scene? Yeah, that would be pretty. Dude, fun. I'm proud of my sexuality. Sure. I'll do just about anything. What is your sexuality? Sure. Whatever it is. Okay. I'm very straight, but I'm non-binary, <laughs> and the chicks are digging. I'm getting banged every day because. Hey, Stan. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome. All right, okay, there he goodbye. is. There he is, he was Stan. Nice. He was d- delightful. Like, Dude, some people like to enjoy their life in a different way. You like to smoke weed. This guy like, likes to like collect like, unemployment like, and play like with Barbies, all right? He, people are different here. He's, right? um, he is, like, like, the concept is super creepy, and then, like, the actual guy seems, like, not that, like, like he seems, like, pretty, like, I don't know. Like he didn't seem like he was Joe with him. Like he didn't seem like he was up to anything weird other than he's the fact that he's, he's the government tit. Other than the fact that he's into the dolls. Like that's the only Well, I'm not really gonna hang out with him, Jody. I was just saying that because he was on the phone. All right, I consider you a good parent. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, I want to tell you five movies that they say here your kids should see before they turn 11. It's very oh, okay. important so for them six, growing up. All right, I got six years. Let's hear the movies. Let's go. Okay, well, let's see if you hit any of these so all right. far. Lion King is yep. on the list. Yep, we've seen that one. Whoa, dude, you might be a perfect father. Oh, Hold yeah, I'm sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure being a great father has a lot to do with what movies you're showing your children. Hey, it's all about the innocence of the young No, age. I've not seen uh, Shrek, Shrek yet. Shrek. No, no, we've been on the Shrek and ride at Universal. The buzzer sound of it. Does that count? Um, the Shrek the Shrek thing at Universal Studios? Does that count? No, that's just, okay. no, there's, a, there's nope. a strange teenager under that mask. All okay. right, then, no, I haven't. The Princess Bride. What a beautiful nope. story. No, I've not had him watch Oh, see, so you, th- you started off strong. Matilda. Nope. Haven't even heard of it. What the hell is Matilda? Jesus Christ, Jody. That's a Broadway play. Uh, uh, E.T. Yes, yes. E.T. Whoa, yes, we have two. Watched, yes. I'll take two. Okay. okay, we're not done. We got two more. All right. Um, up, the story of a beautiful couple that uh, a man loses yes, his wife. Yes, we have Sad watched story. Up. Yes, Whoa. yes, we have. And finally, is Jody a good father? Has he seen the original Toy Story? Yeah, yeah, yes. Whoa! Let's see. All right, so I did pretty good there. Not yeah, bad. You're 50, you still got six years, bro. It's not bad there, you know? You're talking about your sleeping habits. Guess, I mean, you're not sleeping at all. See? That's why we haven't done the show in three weeks. Yeah. But. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Tell, tell the audience, what are you sleeping here now that you have a, a loaf of bread baby and you still have Dylan running around the house? No, I don't what is sl- your sleep pattern right now? Oh, there is no pattern. There's like I like here like like How many hours you catching like you know I I, I I I go to sleep I try to I try to hit the bed somewhere around eight thirty at night right now we're about an hour and ten girl. minutes past that right and then <laughs> my, my um and then at uh, and then at about you know usually you know somewhere around midnight or one or two in the morning the baby wakes up and then like my wife has to get up with the baby and then that wakes me up and then I can't really go back to sleep. And then somewhere around three, that happens again. And then somewhere around six, the, the, I'm asked to get out of bed with the baby so that right. my so that my wife can because the baby like literally Beautiful sleeps in the bed Jamie. with my wife. And then I get up, and then like I oh god, and, you're and, making and, me and tired then, just listening to this. And then, crap. and then I and then I work like you know, and then it's like work all day, right? Until it's like dinner time and have dinner. And then, like, you know, just, just crawl towards 8.30 a- a- p.m. again and then just do it all over again. It's like, it's like fucking so Groundhog Day. I'm going to rub this in your face. You want to know the perfect amount of sleep a person can have? Have you heard about this? I got about 11 hours last like, night, by like, the way. Apparently, like, that's unhealthy. I shouldn't be doing that. I, 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 every time I blink, right now, every time I blink. I, fa- I wanted I, more. Right now, in this moment, every time I blink, I fantasize about not opening my eyes again and just, just drifting off into sleep. Into you got sweet your fantasy. Slumber. I got my fidget porn. You know what I mean? We're living two different worlds here. Very different um, worlds. The perfect amount of sleep, Jody, is seven hours mm. and six minutes. Man, that sounds nice. Seven hours. Fantasize seven about minutes. that. Could you pleasure yourself to the idea of sleep? Right now? Right now, it no, is... I mean, not on this show. Right that now, would be a little right, deranged. Right now, right now, the idea of sleep <laughs> is, like, the most, like, a, like not a rousing thing, but the most, like, I, I want it more than anything else that I that I want in the entire world. I just I just want 
to be able to sleep normally again. Jody, it's summertime. Just, wait, Hit I, my bushy, bushy, blonde hairdo music now. What's that? What are you talking about? What bushy, bushy, bushy blonde hairdo? I, don't I told have you that. to line that up. For no, the you show. didn't. No, you didn't. No. You absolutely oh, you said did you not. You didn't have any songs. See, I tried to trick you, man. You got songs. What? What are you talking about? Oh, Jesus bushy, Christ! Bushy, bushy, blonde hairdo. <sighs> Do you have something else? Were you, were you getting into they something are, there, or, or, or they're what? They're tanning themselves with Coca Cola now. Now, here's why. What? Because it gives you that nice cocoa crisp texture and it not only tans you but it gives you a nice like spray on tan at the end of it is this something you'll try when you hit the beach this no 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 who's putting good some people are slathering themselves in coca-cola like the soda well, they'll take a little sip and then they'll like you know sort of spit someone on there it's, it's a study man people are doing this apparently you come off golden crisp where did you get this information because oh, hold on, I hold on. millennials, Coca, oh, I, 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 millennials, Coca Cola, and then what? Suntan, like uh, what, tanning, what man. Tanning. This is, they're coming. They tanning, look like George. What's that? George Hamilton. Yeah, yeah no, there's nothing about that. You made Perfect this up. Tan. Yeah, sorry, I, I, you made it up. I can't find anything about millennials using. Co- wait, Did people are using Coca Cola as a self tanner, and apparently, tan. oh wait, here it is. See, Jody, I don't lie. I might be a lot of weird things, but I'm not a liar, my friend. So wait a second. People are actually doing. This is one of those things that you make up. You make up stuff all the time. I don't know what I can I do, believe. And when, not, I, I, not when it comes to serious things like cancer, okay. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, no, I'm still not going to try it. I mean, no. give it a whirl. I mean, you're very pale. Though. You were texting me about this. Let DJ- try diet coke. Uh, first, you were texting me it? about this DJ Khaled thing. At, a DJ, uh, at I really felt at, bad for at, this guy. At the uh, at, at the uh, Electric Daisy Carnival. This was out in uh, DC, Las Vegas. Out in Vegas. This is out Vegas, in Vegas, yeah. right? The big one. There's like there's like three hundred thousand people at this thing, right? It's like the Mollied biggest. Mollied out, drugged out, yeah. And so, uh, so I guess, so I guess he showed up late for his set, right? And then, and then, and then, and there's then, a lot of rumors bubbling, Jody. And then but, showed yeah. up and then decided to just kind of like try to like jam in on someone else's set or something. And I guess people weren't having it. Like the crowd wanted nothing to do with it it was really the crowd was awkward, pissed dude very awkward moment at uh, oh, at do, edc do you have that clip at least they're trying to cut my shit we don't want you we don't want you like they're like they tr- they're trying to cut me off and the crowd goes nuts they're like yeah get but him out of there but then he come back <laughs> but then he tries to come back and we're in california and then he starts jumping around like a weirdo Oh, I wish I could do that. I wish, like, everywhere I went, I could just be like, Yo, California! And then the background goes, California love! Like, it just drops in every time, like, you know. When you see his dance that he's doing there, he needs to work on his moves. DJ Khaled should just stick to screaming his name on track. And that's what he does. You know, you notice that? You're not a DJ like me, Joey. DJ Khaled! He's actually grows roots here in Orlando. He has a house here. Oh, really? That's funny because he used to live in the neighborhood that I live in in South Florida. That I live in the neighborhood he lived in before he became like a like like before he like blew up. Uh, oh, dude, you should go on like uh, behind the music with that story. Oh, that I should. Money. That's a good one. War on the internet. There's all the DJ Khaled fans against all the drugged up ED- EDC people. But, but, <laughs> so it's I, like, well, I'm it's thinking a real war. It on seems the odd that this guy would be at uh, the EDC, uh, like the he Electric really Daisy Carnival, to begin either, with, so right? Like, yeah, it was like not going to work out. Yeah. All right. So, so anyway, DJ Khaled kind of booed off the stage there. This, um, I support him though. That's a t- I've been booed off stage before, Jody. You know that. Yeah, you have. <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> You've been booed off All the right. stage plenty of times. Are you ready? You got my least my twisted music for Christ's sake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got that. I got that. Off. I feel like DJ Colin. <laughs> you know, you won't play any of my shit. Okay. I know what the man goes through. So do it. We do your about do a lot of trends. <laughs> All right. Talked about a lot of trends uh, tonight, Jody, and this is another big one. Sniffing cocoa. Sniffing cocoa. Apparently is very good for your health. Sniffing cocoa, and like snorting it, like a uh, snorting like cocoa. A drug. So I, so I tried this. I actually had a little cocoa party at my house no. uh, over the weekend. It was during the day. Like we're talking about brown cocoa, like the cocoa yeah, you used cocoa to make. Cocoa out of the chocolate plant. Okay. You can buy this stuff on Amazon now. People are snorting it. It's very good for you. Okay. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but like I said, I had a little leftover from my party the other night, my cocoa party, and I'm going to try it live 
right now. All right. Apparently the health benefits are endless for this stuff. All right, let's see how this goes. So right. I already have a line lined up, which right. I've never done before. This, right. this is what drug addicts do, I guess. It's I guess so. Yeah, it's All right, weird. here we go. Hold your breath, Jody. This might be big. I got two. Hold on. Are you supposed to hold your breath? Oh, my God. I could... Dude, I could take over the world right now, dude. Let's keep this show going for just a couple more minutes. Maybe we could uh, have another interview. I got a couple people lined up over here, man. Oh, this stuff's fun. It goes right to your brain, too. The chocolate. You can feel it, like, melting around and shit, bro. Cocoa, Try huh? this. Cocoa. It comes from the cocoa plant. What? What? Is it? It's chocolate. No, this I... is another story that I didn't make up, bro. All right? No, I don't think Don't it's... question my motives. Cocoa plant or coca? Which one? Coca. No, not whatever cocaine is. I didn't just do that. You didn't do never. cocaine is what you're saying. What is that? No. Okay. Hey, add us on Twitter. Jody and Scott show. Jody with a Y. He's a man, as you can tell. It'd be weird if you were a girl. Very deep voice. Get on iTunes. Uh, get on Apple Podcasts. Make sure you're subscribed to the show. Uh, you can do it on your iPhone. You can do it on your uh, computer. Uh, and uh, yeah. I gotta go. I'd like I w- to thank uh, Daniel from Rob Him, one of the founders. I'm gonna get one of those things, Jody. I'm gonna try to take a, uh, a dump in it. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna open it up, obviously. All right. And of course, my good friend now, Stan Color Might. I'll be hanging out with you playing Barbies real soon. You can put some money on that. All right. See you next time. Later, buddy. Later on, buddy. Later on, buddy.